Developing news out of Greenville tonight where investigators have identified a body found this weekend as a 43 year old mother who had been missing for weeks. 7 News' Olivia Parsons spoke to a friend of the victim who believes there could have been more done to find her sooner. Friends and family found her body over the weekend in this wooded area that you see right next to me, which happens to be just right across the street from the Greenville Law Enforcement Center. Tonight, they remember Lisa Haggerty as a loving mother. She's been missing since December 8th. In the beginning, yes, I was holding out hope. But Christmas morning when her kids didn't get a phone call, Misty Reeder, Haggerty's longtime friend, became concerned. I knew it was not good. I, I just felt it. The two have known each other since they were in high school. Reader says Haggerty was a wonderful mother. She was funny, compassionate. She loved, loved her kids. She says Haggerty loved to laugh and had the biggest smile. I'm just sad that I won't ever see that smile again. She was an amazing, amazing person. Reader says Haggerty suffered from mental illness. As time went on, with no answers on Haggerty's whereabouts, Reader took action. I couldn't get the detectives to uh, do a search. I was told they had already done one in those same woods. And so I was like, well, you know what? I'll go do it myself. That's when she and Haggerty's children organized a search party. Came down this roadway, looking in the bushes, walked into this parking lot and found her. A promise Reader says she made to Haggerty. I was gonna keep pushing and keep fighting until I found her. But she wishes she wasn't the one to find the body. If anyone had have cared enough to really, really work to find her, um, me and her daughters wouldn't have had to see what we saw that, that day. And she hopes moving forward, cases handling victims who are struggling with mental illness are handled with greater urgency. The cause of death is still unknown at this time, as this is still an active investigation, and we are awaiting the results from the autopsy. In Greenville, Olivia Parsons, 7 News. That autopsy, we're told, is scheduled for Monday. In Washington, the man who is presiding over...